Hi guys, welcome to the short video about what happens or what could happen if you short circuit a power bank. Here we have a solar power bank, even a really fancy one with a wireless charger, a big one, a yeah, thick one. It's supposed to have like 26,000 milliamps, it has only about 30,000 milliamps, but it's not bad. I mean, I'm not a big fan of these single cells, uh, solar cells, but uh, still it's a really nice one it's not really bad there's just one huge disadvantage and maybe we can even solve that with uh, a short circuit why that so yeah let's go into that what could happen i mean we have different kind of power banks we have very simple power banks with not a lot of logic with not a lot of electronics inside and if we just short circuit them uh, that's not good. I mean, definitely, I do not recommend uh, to do that on your own at home. So I'm just uh, certified, uh, licensed for that. No, of course not. But uh, yeah, it's just I'm doing this on my risk. If you want to do that, you do it on your risk. So it hasn't to be really dangerous if you just do it for short time. Uh, but if you do this for longer time, I highly recommend not to do that. I mean, basically some people have been thinking, yeah, okay, we have the output and we have the input. And so actually we could maybe somehow charge our power bank with our own power bank and then increase power and have endless free power or something like that. But I, I really have to disappoint you. There's nothing like a free endless power. At least I haven't found anything. We, we, we haven't found it at all. I've been uh, searching for these things. I mean, we uh, know there is this uh, expression like free power around. I've been searching for about a week and I haven't found any e evidence that this is around. So, and also not here. If we just short circuit that, yeah, this doesn't mean like endless power, uh, like charging itself. So again, back to the logic. Uh, if you have like almost no logic inside, you can uh, just plug it in and then the power will flow. I mean, basically inside we have lithium ion that's 3.7 volts. It has to be transformed into 5 volts and then it goes 5 volts outside, 5 volts inside and then charging the cell and then it has to be retransformed and and so uh, during this transformation process there is a loss definitely so uh, you will definitely have a loss and uh, the whole thing will heat up definitely and i cannot tell you how fast this heats up but it can heat up pretty fast then it, when it gets too hot it can start to leak can start to burn can st start to explode so it can be really really dangerous if you have like an advanced device uh, it can detect if you have like a short uh, circuit so it probably measuring if you have same amount of power outgoing and incoming and it says okay no that's probably <laughs> same thing uh, I mean that there's no uh, like camera which can detect that the same cable but it can measure uh, the current and if it detects same thing it can say okay it's same thing I'm stopping at I won't do anything so yeah so the question is then so how is it here and yeah I'm also going to tell why this even would make or can make sense to do that I mean uh, with this power bank it really makes sense to do this not for long time of course but for very short uh, time because there is some electronics inside here and when it detects that we have used up all the power from the batteries inside and it's totally empty, totally drained, then there is some kind of protection mechanism and it starts to blinking. I mean, we have these LEDs somewhere here. Yeah, I think they, they are here and it starts to blink like with a blue LED and saying, OK, I'm not going to do anything. Uh, otherwise, the battery will uh, drain too much and it can be damaged. Yeah, I mean, batteries can be damaged when they have too low um, charge. I cannot explain you how this really works, uh, uh, but it, it can really happen. So it's a good idea to protect. But the problem is what happens when you are like out in the woods uh, in the middle of the night, your power bank is fully drained, you have no power, and you hear something like close, 
like somebody's uh, approaching or like a, a bear is coming or I don't know and you need emergency power maybe for the light here I'm usually we have the light here maybe your phone is also drained you need a little bit of extra power to charge your phone to call 911 or so yeah that's impossible here as long as you do not attach it to a wall plug and I mean like a wall charger, but we don't uh, usually have wall chargers outside in the wood when you go for camping. So what to do? And this is uh, maybe your last resort option, like uh, just pretending as you ha are using like a wall charger and plug it in here instead of a wall charger and then plug it in here. And then you see it uh, somehow starts to charge as you can see so I'm um, yeah now this is enough I'm definitely taking this thing out uh, I don't do not want to cause any harm to this but uh, I have made already another video about that and I've been showing that it is really working at least in some situations probably not in all situations I have noticed that it somehow reacts a little bit differently uh, almost every time when I did it. So sometimes it was working after that, sometimes it was not working after that, but there, at least there was a change. So I think there is definitely a chance to get it work with this trick, uh, but definitely do not do this uh, too long. I hope this still works. I'm trying to for five seconds, yeah. Uh, light is still working so uh, looks like it's definitely not damaged I mean I have tried this all already many times 10 20 times to try and see uh, what it really does and so but the LED is uh, a little bit different every time I do this this is a little bit strange but but usually I have really been able to get rid of these uh, bad status and so this can be definitely helpful but of course you have to be really careful with that and uh, prevent from uh, really overheating leaking catching fire exploding and so on yeah so that's it for now unfortunately if you were hoping for explosion fire yeah uh, i have to disappoint uh, uh, you for now at least but still i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this information so if you have any questions or comments or whatever you have please write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time